Governors of the Southwest states on Sunday paid a visit to Lagos State counterpart Governor Babajide Sonwudu to sympathize with him over the wanton destruction on public infrastructure and massive looting carried out in the wake of what is described as reprisal attack after the Leki and SARS protests, which snowballed into violence. Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda was at the State House and other destroyed sites are reports. Herein lies the ruins of the oldest high court in Nigeria. This court is not alone. The Lagos DNA and Forensic Center, the Nigerian Port Authority, are also a shadow of themselves, no thanks to the violent attacks on these structures. The Lekki Toll Plaza, 120 hours, five days after the NSAS protesters had their onslaught with a men of the military. This is a place that still is full of a lot of sad memories for Lagosians all over. These troubled sports are the reasons the Southwest governors are visiting Lagos State barely two days after some calm sets into the nation's most vibrant commercial city. Let me stand again, destroying ourselves. It's an issue. What do we stand to gain destroying ourselves? We cannot continue to fold our arms and watch our heritage destroyed and our people suffer. Despite the ethnic colorations given to these incidences in some quarters, this governor insists that Lagos State remains home for all. We appeal that we should refrain from volatile, provocative, inciting messages and language. It is possible that some people are trying to set us against one another. We must not let them succeed. With public infrastructure worth millions of naira destroyed and countless private shops looted, these governors are not the only parties concerned. The visibly worried Speaker of the House of Representatives also shows some concerns over the funds needed to reconstruct this property. It was going to cost about a trillion naira to rebuild Lagos. That, that makes my heart heavy. And I asked the governor, I said, what's the budget the, for Lagos State? What are you planning? And he told me that they were planning in a budget of almost a trillion naira. So if you're planning a budget of almost a trillion naira that will cover salaries, overheads, capital, growth, development, and now you have been forced to now look for a trillion naira just to rebuild and compensate. You can see that we're not making them, we're actually going, we're, we're not, we're going, we're moving backwards in reverse. Gradually, daily activities on this part of Lagos Island are beginning to pick up. Reconstruction and rebuilding are the watchword on the lips of Lagosians as the city begins to pick up shape again. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.